What's actually the difference between dependency injection and dependency inversion? To answer that, take a look at this code. It analyzes log files and computes an overall application health report. The logic itself is fairly generic, but it's tightly coupled to the details of locating and parsing the application-specific log files. We can loosen this coupling using dependency injection. We apply dependency injection by moving the object creation outside, usually into the main component of the application, and then inject the created objects back in. For required dependencies, we typically use constructor injection. It ensures that objects can't exist without them. Optional dependencies are often injected through properties or methods. Dependency injection doesn't require interfaces, but they are often used to make components testable and replaceable independently. We don't need a dependency injection container to apply dependency injection, but such frameworks make wiring larger object graphs much easier. Be careful though, not every new belongs outside. Only extract what's truly a separate concern. Exposing implementation details can increase complexity instead of reducing it. So far so good, but if we zoom out a bit, we can see that even though our classes are less tightly coupled, the generic reporting module still directly depends on the specific logging module and therefore can't be reused in another context without it. To fix that, we apply dependency inversion. In its simplest form, we define an abstraction, a contract, that both modules depend on. This effectively inverts the dependency at the module level, hence the name. If we can't make a specific module depend on the abstraction directly, for example, when it comes from another team or a third-party library, we add an adapter that implements the contract and connects the two worlds. So in the end, both concepts tackle the same problem, coupling, just at different levels. Dependency injection separates the concern of creating objects from the concern of using them, resulting in loosely coupled classes. Dependency inversion decouples modules by making both depend on abstractions, leading to flexible and reusable designs.